now we know that the telephone is connected to the exchange through a pair of copper wires this wired connection between the telephone and the exchange is called as the local loop now on the side of the telephone this telephone is connected to this pair of copper wires using the distribution point this distribution point is also called as the junction box and this is the diagram of the distribution point or the junction box now from the exchange side there is a big cable that is coming which has many pairs of copper wires and this cable terminates at the distribution point now using one of these pairs of copper wire we connect the telephone like here we have connected the telephone to this pair of copper wires now on the exchange side this pair of copper wires is connected to the exchange using the main distribution frame and this is the diagram of the main distribution frame now what is the advantage of using this arrangement for example due to some reason if this pair of copper wires gets faulty in that case we can easily connect this telephone to this other pair of copper wires in the cable and on the exchange side we can patch this pair of cables to this mdf port so that it is connected to the exchange so this arrangement provides us with the flexibility that if there is a fault in the pair of copper wires we can change that pair with another pair that does not has this problem now in order to understand the signaling between the telephone and the exchange we need to understand the states of the telephone now in this state when the handset of the telephone is placed over the telephone this state is called as the on hook state now we know that the telephone is connected to the exchange using a pair of copper wires now one of the wires in this pair is the ring wire and the other wire is the tip wire the ring wire is connected to the minus 48 volt dc power supply in the exchange while the tip wire is grounded on the exchange side and between these two wires there is a there is a switch now when the telephone is in the on hook state this switch is open now when the user lifts the handset of the telephone in that case this switch is closed and now this telephone is set to be in the off hook state and the user starts getting the dial tone and the exchange detects using this detector that now user has lifted the handset of the telephone and now the telephone is in the off hook state after that the user dials the number and this dial number is again detected using this detector and then the exchange connects this telephone to the dialed or the called telephone or the called party similarly when the telephone is in the on hook state and there is an incoming call for this telephone then in that case the exchange uses the ring generator in order to send a 90 volt ac current to this telephone so in the telephone there is a ring tone and when the user of this telephone hears this ring tone he lifts the handset so the handset now enters the off hook state and this switch is closed and once this switch is closed the exchange detects that the switch is closed because now the current starts flowing through this circuit and then the exchange connects the calling telephone or the calling party to this dialed telephone or this called party 